Okay. All right, we'll call the meeting to order at uh, 534. Now I got two from the wedding. Okay. And we didn't call the meeting together at five to order at five thirty-four. Yep, oh, it's very should be. Should be. Okay, they're both in. Uh, no, Ray is still connected. Give me just a second. Jimmy's in. There we go. They're in. Hi, Jim. You're muted, but we can hear you. We can see you saying hi. Here we go. Yeah. Excellent. Thanks. Okay, that's all right. We'll let Ray come in um, a little bit later. So we'll call the meeting order now, five thirty-five, and our agenda gives us the minutes to take a look at. Is there a motion to uh, accept the minutes from our October 13th meeting? So yeah. move, Mr. Chim. Paul, there is um, Al uh, motion, and I heard Herb second. Discussion? Um, yes, I did. Uh, I did speak with Hannah Kine Kinney. 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 Yes, I saw her too. And yes, she she told me that she'd gotten too busy and she was no longer interested yeah. in that. And well, she tried when she was moving homes and building and stuff like that, and so she said no, she wouldn't. She couldn't do it. That's why we hadn't heard from her. Um. haven't heard in the review of the 22 budget process um we had done this before and we asked the department chairs to notify us if they expect any major changes to their budgets um haven't heard anything but we have Karina here tonight so maybe she will tell us if there is anything um And Karina has also given us that last section, has given us the basically where we fit in with the give us the schedule for the um, budget process. And it looks like, yes, we can meet with Woodstock for the joint meeting on the 18th. And then we have the second public hearing if needed. Everything else was the same as we had before, right? Pretty sure. Okay. Okay. Um, any other discussion on the minutes? No? Okay. All in favor of approving the um, October 13 minutes, 13th minutes, please raise your right hand and say aye. 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 Opposed? All abstain. It all abstain. I wasn't there. Actually, because I wasn't really a member. Okay. Two abstentions. The uh, the minutes are are approved. And, um, second is we have review um, and approval uh, or a review of uh, letters of interest. And I sent them both around. Did everybody get a chance to look at them? And Beverly's came in. Um, Earlier on, and um, and uh, Wayne's, and I take it you are Mr. Balter. Yes. How are you? Nice to meet you. It's, um, I've only spoken to one person, and they spoke highly of you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever work for the Mountain Inn? The, the Mountain Club? Yeah, Mountain Club. Yep. Yep. Still there. Yep, still there. <laughs> Still there. You hired my son 20 years ago. <laughs> really? Uh, Jeffrey? Yes. Oh wow. my goodness. Wow. He is the, the, the he's a he's a he's a champ. <laughs> Jeffrey was oh my goodness. I yeah, I remember Jeffrey. 
quite a while. His first job in the hotel business, he was in college. Yes. He was the executive vice president, chief financial officer for a big uh, private equity firm in New York. He's currently looking at buying 100 hotels. Oh, uh, I, I'm still accepting tips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Tell him I said hello. And actually, I'll reach out to him too because he came back to visit. We visited a couple times. Yes. And then, um, um, yeah, then it broke off. Because he was. Oh, yeah. What a, I knew he had it. All right. So you have credentials. <laughs> um, and. So I left a um, I left a message with um, with Beverly yesterday as I left, and um, um, I haven't heard I haven't heard back from from Bev yet. And I, did you get my message? I haven't yet. Oh, okay, I left a phone message for um, for you and um, for you and um, and Bev that if you wanted to come to the meeting. So. Um, Let's we'll address something else later. But um, uh, has everybody had a chance to look over Wayne's uh, uh, Wayne's uh, resume? Yeah, it's very impressive. Yes. Yes. Congratulations. Is um, do you? Let's see. You've been a full time resident since since I didn't know you were living up here. Is I bought my first property here in nineteen eighty four. A real property. In 2000, I moved to a condo on Forest Ridge. In 2005, I bought a house here and I retired. So I've actually been head of property up here, but I've been full time up here since 2005. Oh wow! Yes, yeah. Well, you you haven't been all that visible. <laughs> it's 17 years, and I haven't run into you. I have owned uh, property in Florida. Okay, which has taken most of my winter. And I'm uh, very involved in uh, the property down there, and I simply sold it. And now I've always been a resident up here, but I'm now right, right. on side of the year. And I thought maybe it's time. I'm not asking for anything. It just here I am. Is there anything I can do to help? Yeah. Okay. By well, the way, this is an open meeting. I was the open. I was the only person here for the selectman meeting. <laughs> now you're only outside. You're only resident. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, well, there must not be anything going on at selectman's meeting. There was nobody there. That's that's unusual. This one usually draws quite a crowd. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. very exciting. And hopefully, we have seven around the table. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> it's still sort of off season. Um, it'll it'll pick up and selectman's meetings. I'm sure will pick up later on. Um, the um, does anybody have any questions for for Wayne? Is um, um, no, and then you know you have very well very well qualified, and I would you know wouldn't have any um, um, objection to any of it. I think I'll put it out because I think we should give. Should we should we give Bev a chance to also come in and present her you know her desire and reasoning and to be did, on the committee before we vote? Did you speak to her? You gave her the opportunity to come in tonight. Well, I left her a message. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I left her a message to come in. Um, so, what do you think? Is well, this a, is this for a full position or is this for a to fill a term until the next voting? Yes. To fill out. I, yeah. It would be. A, it would be. Yeah. Um, full member. Not so full member. Not Susan. Full. Susan. It's not an alternate. Yeah. It would be Susan's position. Because Brian yeah. filled. Anytime we appoint somebody, it's um, it's just until the it's it's right. Right. It's their term. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But I didn't know if it was an alternate position or. If so we have a vacancy for a full time and alternate. We don't have any alternate. We alternates. Yeah. Planning board has alternates. Yeah, but, but no, we don't. And only a five-member board. They need the alternates. Yeah, right. right. They usually don't need the alternates. Is um, um, uh, Jim or Ray? Do you anything you want to comment on that? As far as uh, should we make the should we make a selection tonight, or should we wait another 
When are we meeting again? How, how much notice has Bev had to come in? Um, I, I'm almost positive. I want to say that I replied to an email that we were, and, and Jane said that we were in receipt of it last 10 days ago or so. And then um, that we were in, in receipt of her letter of interest. And then, as I said, I left her a, a, a phone message. I left her a phone message last night. Um, the It's not a requirement that she come to the meeting in order to uh, be considered. Um, there's actually no requirement that anybody nobody has to anybody has to give other than you know than putting their their note in. So uh, I don't think there's any obstruction to us voting choosing tonight. May I make a suggestion? I, I, I just want to make sure she's been notified about the meeting. That's all. He just said yeah. she was. He was. Yeah, yeah, yeah I left, yeah, I left yeah, a okay. message. But I mean, she said ample time. He didn't just follow up ten minutes ago or something like that. No, 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 no. Right. Considering that our next meeting, um, the, the selectmen will have given you budgets by then. So you'll be diving right into budgets for the next meeting. And for that reason, I will make a motion to appoint Wayne Balzer. Okay, okay. Tammy motion. Actually, um, Al was up there second. Did I say your um, name correctly, sir? Pardon? I just asked if I said his name correctly. And that's all. Okay. Um, We'll call him Father of Jeff Ball. <laughs> is um, um, okay. Motion, second, discussion. Okay. Um, all in favor of uh, appointing uh, Wayne for the open position through um, into twenty twenty three. Please raise your right hand and say aye. Uh, aye. aye. Opposed. None. Okay, it's unanimous. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Welcome. And welcome. Thank Mike. you. You'll have to. You. I did. I saw your notice that our lawyer in Kemp had someone, and I was still in the process of selling the Florida. I submitted this letter of intent, and I thought that you people had already filled oh. all your positions. So I just thank you. Yeah. You will have to just send it in to see is there anything I can do in the town. To help and that's it. That's great. That's great. great. Well, it's meant it's very honored to be included in the right, place. right. We're about, we're honored, just as honored to have you on the you'll have to get to see the town clerk and get sworn in Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So it's just tomorrow for Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then you can Good. sit right in with us in January. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Yes, let me say that. I have a question. Oh, yes, right. Yeah, you're muted, muted Ray. You're muted. You're muted. You're muted. Muted. You we can't unmuted. hear you. You're muted. Muted. We can't hear you. Stop to turn on your microphone. How's that? There, yeah, you, there you go, Ray. Okay. Uh, is is he aware that he has to bring lobster for the next year? <laughs> no, we're trying to keep that quiet. <laughs> All right. After I, they're sworn in. I, yeah, after he's sworn in. That's the fine print. Okay. Right. Very fine. Yep. Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they might be Pemi lobsters. <laughs> um, okay. We've got that in. And so we have um, um, Uh, review of the 2022 or the, the year to date expenses through this through November, right? And this isn't this doesn't require any motion or anything like that. This is just a um, information. information, information, question and answer. Okay, the question. Yeah. A lot of these. Budgets are obviously from the budget. So it says 2022 budget in December of whole year or just through November? Uh, the 2022 budgeted number is the first column is the total. Total for the year. Correct. Okay. And the so expenditure is through? Uh, through uh, end of November, uh, 11 29, I believe. Yeah, so 11 12th of the budget. 
Right. Period. I was just going to say, great job, but we're way on the question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, you, you're going to see definitely there are some surpluses and some line items. December tends to be a, a heavy month for us. You know, we've got the capital reserves, which is over half a million dollars that we pay out. Um, mm -hmm. So you do see, you know, a, a hefty surplus at this moment, but it definitely will be, um, you know, reduced by the end of this month. Um, there's some heavy bills that come in months, you know, annual bills that we pay in December. I have another question. Go ahead. When, when you do the budgets, this the first column is through the end of the year. Do you do you ever spread it out over 12 months? Um budget. Uh, not typically. We usually do it on an annual basis, you know, because we're on a calendar year. Um I was just wanting to do it that way. No, I, I do it that way. I, I know that at the end of October, this is what it should be. We spread it out over we spread the budget out over 12 months. Well, I mean, it is one month at a time. It shouldn't is that one. We use we do update the expenditures yeah. monthly, so you should get an expenditure report monthly. But no, we don't budget like if we have the total twelve months with a hundred thousand, you know, twelve each, you know, or ten each month. So your salary isn't monthly, and and you 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 don't have like some months with five weeks and some months with four weeks, and there's a you don't do it that way. We don't do it. No, we just okay. put on the, the twelve month calendar year, yeah, so the annual basis. Oh, great. Yeah. That's easier. Yeah, it's easier. It is, yeah, it's easier. It makes, it makes sense. <laughs> some it's, and it's some it's stuff easier. doesn't scale throughout the year, like what fuel is right. going to be more in some months than others. It is easier but because it's pretty subjective to spread it out over 12 months like that. But it also gives you some kind of I'd like mine that way. That's fine. You run your own business. That's right. <laughs> so I'll just ask is what is what is common practice in Public and private, is it to do it? Because I've never done anything but a month because it's always the we're chasing the revenue. So if the revenue is not there for the month, is we've got we're doing a lot of adjusting within that month or for the upcoming. Month. It's sure. going to be different based on your yeah. business. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I, I'm not it's going to be different for when you're chasing revenue than you know. Yeah, every municipality I've worked for has done it on an annual basis. When we only collect revenue twice a year, right. you collect it in January or December from the previous year's tax bill, and then in July. Um, I am. Uh, that's okay. I'm not saying. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm saying I looked at this. It's two eighty eight. Can we Two thirty seven for the end of what we're fifty thousand dollars on the budget. It's like no, we're not. <laughs> yeah, no. no. For the whole year we are. Yeah. No. And there's probably some expenses that don't occur right. on a budget like this monthly. That might yeah, be twice right. a month. Right. Like yeah. yeah, we have like I said, we have a lot of yeah. bills that come in you really here. Right. 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 You do something like this right. on twelve, yeah. Unlike for a business where you got money coming in. Yes. Yeah. So, if, if, if I may, Mike. Mm -hmm. um, you had mentioned the capital reserves. Is that just a singular payment each year that the capital reserves are expended in December? Uh, stereotypically, I believe that's, um, or historically, that's how Lincoln has done it. But this past year, we split them uh, in half. So okay. we gave half to the trustees sometime this summer, late summer, I want to say, maybe July, August. And then the, um, we'll give the uh, next half next week. Okay, just one other thing. Besides the reserves, which you mentioned about a half million in December, is there any debt service that might be coming out in December as well? Y yes, definitely. So a lot of our, um, if you, you'll see when we get to the budget process, a lot of our uh, payments come due in the late fall because of just tax revenue. So. Oh, okay. So in the absence of those two items, then it would be the customary expenditures under. Do you. Yeah. you foresee anything now that's headed into a large overage of budget at the end of the year? No, um, not really. Um, I think all the department heads have done a really good job this year to try to be frugal, kind of with the uncertainty of what was going to happen this year. and. Um, heating fuel, electricity, all that kind of stuff. Um, so you are going to see, you know, when you go over the PD's budget and you see the PG's expenditures, they look really low this month. You're going to see a big jump next month. Mm -hmm. um, the PD um, received some grant um, 
was uh, awarded some grants this year. Unexpected. Um, unexpected, yep, yeah, unexpected grants. Um, so he was, uh, Chief Moore was able to absorb some of his expenditures because he was down two officers for a good majority of the year um, to cover our, our costs or our share of some of those grant expenditures. Um, so you're going to see that budget probably significantly change in this next 30 days. Okay. Is that... Does that have something to do with the uh, grant expenditures underneath there? Um, those are ones that we've already been awarded, that we've already spent from. We received a grant for the, um, we received a grant earlier this year for new radios for the PD as well as the fire department. We received a grant earlier this year for new um, traffic control signs and new speed yeah. radar signs yeah. and the message board sign. That's what that is in that, um, in that line. Can you, can you address the over expenditures that are the date, like the USGS monitoring and the, let's see, payroll over time for recreation. Uh, the library also has a state grant expenditure line that went, that was over five years before, so I was just trying to figure out if you could. Sure, I can tell you that. The, on those. Yeah, I can tell you the USGS, we weren't charged last year, and then we got a double bill from the DPS this year. Um, so, you can't go back. I can't go back. We tried. <laughs> we tried. It's DES. Um, so, when you're working with the state, they, they don't care about our budget. So, I know for a fact that um, we didn't receive the invoice last year. John called, tried to pay it. We never spent it, essentially rolled into undesignated fund balance, but then we had to take the hit. This year. Isn't that nice? So I know. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, DES. Um, what was the other one you said? Uh, recreation payroll over time. Page five on the recreation payroll over time. That's over spent already by $3,000. Is it down to employees? Yeah, I believe that they did just lose one of their full time positions. So I do believe that they um, have um, some overtime absorbed in that. Um, I don't really know exactly why it went over. It's quite a bit, yeah. I'm yeah. It's from some of the other. Consider winter's just coming in there. And last winter, in January, the tank, there was some time there. Um, and um, I don't think there was any camp. And then now with ASB, the current one's up. Yeah, I know that they definitely are now because they've been short for the last month. Yeah. Or so. Some of it was last year. Yeah. So there more, more expenditures and overtime. I'm sure we're going to know between now and December evening. And a little bit, yeah. 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 Is that going to be an issue? I don't think so. Yes, you know, as you can see, she's got 20 grand left in her just regular payroll line, right. but I think it'll yeah. probably offset yeah. it a little bit. Yeah. And there was yeah. one on the library, too, I think, Green, with that. And uh, uh, state grant expenditures for the library. Was extended and not budgeted. Um, I, I believe the library also received a grant. You, you know, obviously the trustees run that budget. Um, so, I, but I do believe they received a, a grant funding um, this year, and I think that's what kind of tipped them over the edge a little bit. All right. That's all I had. Thank you. No problem. It's better than my monthly budget. <laughs> <laughs> Still yeah, that's why your budget's bad. <laughs> Not really. Um, so we'll, you know, so we'll ask you have any, any, um, what do you see as the biggest uh, surprises or, or um, increases or decreases in the upcoming budget? Um, so I think the, um, some of the major increases you're going to see are what you can expect to see. It's going to be electricity. It's going to be heating fuel. It's going to be propane. It's going to be diesel. We had a, a huge hit on our health insurance this year. Um, that went up about 17%. Um, it, it's going to be the cost of goods and services that you're going to really see, you know, the, the increases in. The chemicals for the water treatment plant, those of, you know, Mm -hmm. doubled if not tripled in price for some of them salt sure. sand those type of things we've seen an increase in um but pretty much it's those are where you're going to see your increases it, we, there's nothing radical there's nothing um huge kind of unexpected you know 
wish list type of things. Um, I think the, the department heads were pretty frugal, um, knowing that electricity and heating fuel and propane and diesel and all that stuff alone is going to be, you know, it's going to cause some increases. Right. I think you, you know, on the good side of things, you're going to see our legal budget be cut in half. Yes. You're going to see some of our engineering stuff drastically reduced. It's going to be a little bit of a give and, a give and take. You're going to see some well, reduction in some lines. That's where it wants all the scales, yeah. Right. Absolutely. So, um, but nothing like I, I nothing that I would um, be weary of. Nothing that I would say. Okay, this is going to be a hard sell at the budget committee. It's going to be. Um, I think most of it's going to be um, understandable and you know justifiable. No white script ahead. Not yet. <laughs> and the select committee signing on wage increases, percentages, and um, we haven't gone over that budget yet. We skipped that. We, we skipped that budget right yes. now. Yeah. Week. Next, the 19th is when the um, on Monday night we skipped over some of the big players. So, what you're going to see is um, right now we're in union negotiations with um, the, the, um, the with the police downstairs. That's um, still under um, negotiation. So, uh, we don't have any firm numbers on that as of yet. So, we're kind of waiting for that before we went over administration. Yeah, because that's, I think that's going to be, you know, a big sway. Um, but we've met two times. We have another two scheduled. So, um, and that should be complete by the time the select meet again, correct? Like we're hoping to, fingers crossed, fingers crossed okay. we're hoping to have a, um, a finalized, at least, um, wage figure number by the 19th. Um, so you can have numbers for your January meeting. Um, but so you so that's kind of a big variable right now. Um, and then personnel wise, um, we haven't settled on anything, but what I'm proposing is 6%. You're, you are proposing or not? I am proposing 6% COLA. That's across the board. Across the board for non union. Non -union. You got it. Right. Is there a reason you want to get that figure? I'm asked and not because I'm a coach. Yeah, no. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of discussion amongst the municipal managers. We're all on the website. We're all comparing what everyone else is doing. Um, it seems to be the trend in that five, six percent. There are some communities that are going with the, the inflation rate, the IR, the 8.7. I think that's a little high um, given the increases that we you know jumped up last year. I think six is fair. I think it's somewhere in the middle and what other communities are doing. Mm -hmm. Sort of what I was yeah. looking yeah. at is that we've been given raises about COLA. Mm -hmm. So you, that I was just looking for a simple justification. <laughs> so I, I, I did good. <laughs> did, did good. <laughs> you made me look smart. You've never gone above COA because not I mean, last year. Everything's been kind of flat. Years ago, when COLA was like zero, we yeah, kept it for something. I think um, last year, I went back, to, I did like a 10 year kind of average of what um, the town has done for COLAs, and it usually hovered in that 3% range, whether it was one or two. Yeah. Usually, everyone got that 3%. Um, last year was the 5% COLA across the board, but it was obviously you know compounded with the wage adjustments right. that happened in the fall. Um, we haven't seen very many wage adjustments this year. I mean, we have um, in a couple of departments based on roles and responsibilities, but nothing across the board. So, like I said, I think it, comparative to other communities, we're, we're right where we need to be. I mean, realistically, 8.7 is what you theoretically need to break even. Sure. Uh, and not giving all that part of it, I, I thought would play in that we have given more over time in the past. Has there been any adjustment in the retirement system tailored to employer or employee? Not this year, but next year there will be in 23. It will be reduced very slightly by half a percentage <laughs> in the employer's favor, um, but it's not going to be a big thing, unfortunately, not. At least it's not going up. At least it's not going up, right. Yeah, they, they adjust those every two years and um, uh, they'll change in July of next year. So we won't even see the full effect. We'll only see it for about six months. Um, um, anything major change in the CIP? We did add, <laughs> we added some extra funds this year. Um, it's a, uh, a, a slight increase over last year, but I think it's on target with the trend on the CIP line. Um, so, um, you're going to see a 
A slight increase. No, this I, you know, I'll throw it out so it came up because I know that we always had used the three percent inflationary increase in the CIP mm -hmm. that we CIP committee took it out. And so I'm just wondering if that is is going to match up with the realities of things. Are, are, are any of these projects going to come up short in money because the? Oh, uh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, even 3% is not accounting for the increases that we're seeing in the cost of things. You know, a fire truck has increased, you know, doubled. Yeah. It's doubled from what we had, from what we had originally, um, you know. Um, so we are making incremental, incremental adjustments. We did a bunch this August when we went through the CIP process. We tried to update as many as we could, mm -hmm. but I think we're probably even our short for what we adjusted in August if we were planning on buying it next year. So, okay. Uh, but we did, I think we added uh, last year in capital reserves, we put away um, 1,095,000. I think this year we're proposing 1,222,000. So, about 100. And so 130 increase, 100 suffering. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we'll see it in January. Right. Yeah. Any further questions for Graham? No, my plan is to get you a copy of the budgets, you know, maybe at least a week in advance, you know, for okay. our January 3rd meeting, Christmas week, so you guys can have time to review it. I did want to um, touch base. What I've done for the selectmen, and I don't know if it would be beneficial for the budget committee, is um, throughout the budget document, I've kind of um, highlighted in red anything that went over more than 5% and highlighted in green anything that was under budget. It kind of allows you to focus on where the major changes are. Um, and if that would be beneficial to the budget committee, I would like to continue that. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. yeah. That would be a home run for us. Okay. Yeah. Great. Um, the only other thing I have for the budget committee also to talk about is we do have that line item for the um, iPads or the surfaces, and we haven't expended anything yet this year, but I know that Tracy had mentioned that she would like a laptop to be able to do the minutes on, and I would love to get that on order. Um, you know, we only have a couple of weeks left if the budget committee is okay with that, so Tracy can have um, a laptop to do the minutes. And if anybody else. And if anybody else. Right. For the budget. Well, but he's there. I know it's kind of a. We well, don't know well no. What there. what happened was, it's in there this year for this year. Yeah. But in it got cut at town meeting two years ago. That's right. And one of the reasons that I was sort of like, well, I I want I was one of those who opposed it, is but by the time it got finished with the security adjustments with the company that we were working with mm -hmm. you know you you had a you know you had a fifteen hundred dollar computer or twelve hundred dollar computer that i think went to seven thousand i'm not sure if that's right because we were up there around thirty five or forty thousand budgeted for that or no thirteen thousand you have in that line You have uh, we put five thousand in there last year. So that and that that's was, what was approved at town meeting. We cut it in. We cut the number. We reduced it slightly. I think it was like eight, and we brought it to five, maybe eight or something. Yeah. Well, but five is certainly enough to buy one laptop. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I imagine yeah. a laptop would be a thousand bucks. You know. Well, that's but what it's I think. That's, that's, what that's, what needs that's what we thought as well until. You have to set it up. It's a it's the government's right. computer, and by the time the who who does our it's certified uh, CCS. They're called Certified Computer Solutions. I believe you just get a new service. How much is that? I, well, I see. I, I think this is what the confusion is. Okay. I think my predecessor got quotes for um, for surfaces, Microsoft surfaces, which are much more expensive. Expensive. I think it was like twenty two, twenty four hundred dollars per surface. Where a laptop, you know, just a standard, you know, laptop was about twelve when they quoted us. So, right. Well, I think what uh, that's, Mike that's, is, that's ready to go. That's ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. I think what Mike is talking about is there a, a certain amount of uh, security and and uh, software suites that are required if it's being used for town business, or, and are those expensive? Well, they're not free. <laughs> so I imagine, like I said, I imagine we could get a, a Tracy a, a laptop outfitted for no more than fifteen hundred bucks. Well, why don't you take a look and see what it what 
what it would cost to get a number of computers okay. for that five thousand dollars. Okay. Set and ready to go, so that Trace is not on something different than what everybody else is on. And we're we're talking laptops. Yeah, laptop, yeah. Okay. But I think, but Surface is the same, kind of the same. Thing. Surface is, is is definitely more expensive. Um, but I mean, and again, the, the where it came in, and where everybody said this is outrageous, because I know I've got a very good laptop that's almost better than a Surface, yeah. and it was like thirteen hundred. Yeah. And but by the time CCS is that what it is, yep. yeah. gets finished with it, the price went through the roof. Yeah. yeah, the price went through the roof. So that's my that. that's my concern. So right. if we can get um, if we can get a quote on these, then okay. So then, all right, the quote comes in. We have we want to spend the five thousand before the end of the year, right? Mm -hmm. Ideally, yeah. All right. Yeah. So yeah. what it is is let's see what they're what they're asking for. Okay. And see how many we can get. Okay. And if if there is a super expensive security suite. Are we required to have it for a million of this nature? I'll tell them. Yes, yeah, I can look into that. Now, can I ask this for that meeting before the end of the year? Um, do you want her to order as many as she can, keeping it under the five thousand dollars? No, let's let's get the let's get the quote first. Okay. And, and then, then, so we're not going to order them before the end of the year. So then we can't. Well, no, we, we can order them. We can order them before the end of the yeah, year. Yeah, okay. You, you, can order them. Them. you don't have to have a vote. The year, it can be an issue of budget. It's in the budget. You don't, you don't have to have a vote in order to order. But you can still spend money. When's the last time that you have an expenditure? You allow an expenditure in issues. I mean, it usually goes into January. Yeah, it usually goes in, you know, a couple of weeks in January. But I, yeah, I mean, I'll I'll get a quote. I'll email it. Right. And then we can yeah, then we'll take give it me the green light or not. Okay. We'll get you something. Yeah. <laughs> Gone this long. Yeah, Tracy, you need that. You really do. Right. Well, and I'll be honest though, it seems silly to if we can afford three to get three and then we're picking and choosing who's gonna get the other two. I you know, I, I don't think I don't all those are, I agree on that. So maybe yeah. maybe we maybe we start with one for now. No, I, I, let's get the quote. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's Wait a good minute. idea. You really can't say that. You're you're the chair, but how about we vote on it? Um you could if you wanted to. Oh, I mean, if, if everybody thinks that she should, that Tracy should have it, we, we should be able to vote on it. And I'll make a motion that we order one for Tracy. And I'll second it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The discussion. The only, the only reason I'm, I'm putting this out and saying get them because they we end up with different types. And now this one is doing this with that one. And now we have another type that's here. And the reason and the configurations are all of a sudden nobody can teach each other to configure the, the usage of it. So, and I've seen it, it happens in, in private industry. Get this one now, but now we got this one over here. And this one doesn't do exactly what that one does. But the reasoning that we were going to get into all of these was for, and you had brought it up, you had brought it up for personal liability. Because if you're using your own, if you're using all your own stuff, then and there's a question you had said it that, that the government they can come in and say hey give us that we want to research it this one which one this about you know what i said they wouldn't get in my house but anyway i still have trace my well, and i think tracy should have one so it's you know, it, it, it's just to, to answer that because now if, if she's doing a minutes on there she can do it and i would think that the programming if you're buying something today would allow for it to marry marry up with some other computer, some other program that we might have. I mean, it seems like a simple thing to do. As long as, yeah, I mean, the biggest problem would be uh, Mac to uh, yeah, PC. To PC. And as long as we're, right. everybody's using PCs, uh, there's really not, I mean, it's pretty standardized now. I, I have a so, question. But then I'm, I'm, I'm heading along the lines of, well, we should all have it. Yeah. Oh, but my question is yeah, my to do yeah. what? Because now, I mean, we can't do any work individually. That's not allowed. It has to be done as a committee. You know, yeah. you can't be working on stuff by yourself at home or with two other people. Right. I mean, so so I'm saying, what are we? Going to, I don't know. No, no, no. but, but it comes through the. It would have to come through the committee. In other words, I'm saying. What do we do? With, what do we do now? We we go. We get the, from the Google Drive. You print it down, or it's printed down for you, and you bring it in, 
and we and we discuss it and we vote. But I'm saying, what are we going to do on these computers? Well, other than receive what, mail. What Tracy needs for us to do the minutes. Tracy, I don't have any problem. Right. Tracy, that's, all, that's, like that's, that's all we're talking about here is one right. Tracy. Yeah, that, but he's saying for all of us, yeah. and I'm saying well, some of us don't want. When I get emails with me, I put it on the computer, and I marked it up on the computer. I marked everything up on there, and it was on there. I didn't print anything. I said, all marked up on here. I didn't waste time. Right. Yeah, but you can't be too busy. That doesn't be fine. Well, that's not our aesthetic. But I still did have spend hours at home on that computer, making notes and looking things up and comparing and whatnot. I'm just, you know, that's just my basic question. I Tracy needs one. I don't disagree with that. This, this came about a number of years ago. This came about a number of years ago when Woodstock came in, they all have computers. And well, the and challenge they, they is, one, one second, is they don't print anything. That's right. And I believe me, in the private world, is it's gotten that way, is you just all have it there. You have the drive. Everything from this meeting, the last meeting, the three meetings last year is all sitting right there. And so we're not, we're not printing different stuff out. I, I'm not that, you know, that's why I say it's either... That's either I, I'm surprised that we haven't gone in that direction. We haven't agreed to do it, and then it got cut at the budget, and then it got put in last year, and it got cut down again. But it, it's one of the, if, if we're not going to do it, then yeah. Well, I think if you're using the if, if you're using a laptop just for that purpose, just to look at your budget, then let's buy iPads for everybody. Yeah. That's what I was talking about. This is a hell of a lot easier yeah, to look at the agenda. It's so important. Yeah, things. So we can things and read, so we all have it. We don't have to bring paper. Then an iPad does it for you. Yeah. We, we've had this discussion before. Eight of them, if no one's going to use it, right? Yeah. Right. Crazy. 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 You're on the budget committee. You're not supposed to say that. <laughs> All right. Well, well we only have a budget. Yeah. Six o'clock to nine o'clock um, at the Mountain Club, and I think it's some of us will be at another meeting. Okay, then somebody else scheduled. Yeah, not me. You'll be there. I'll be there. Yes, I'll be there. Um, Make sure your RSVP to Jane so she has a. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Yes. And it says at the bottom, yes, you can go. Yes, who's RSVP? Yeah, let Jane let me know if you're going to go or not. And By December 12th. You're going to bring a plus one or not? Okay. And. Anyone have anything else that they would like to present? Let me just say one motion later. One, one second. <laughs> just real quick for me, these things are on the Google Drive. You don't need to put a copy for me. Right. I'd rather anything that is on the drive, I, I'd rather be not have it. He's in the tree for me. But I don't know if we're there yet as a committee. Right. No, I, I don't. Last year I said I'd bring like a half a 
dozen hard copies for everybody. And if we need to make more before the meeting, we can do it. Well, let me, how about if I, I'll work that out with Tracy. All right. Okay. Only because this also happens is that it happens in the private businesses. Somebody's bringing copies and then they'll, oh, well, I thought somebody else was bringing copies. And, oh, I have my own. I'll print my own. And then, well, oh, I don't have enough. So secretary is, is they want to basically should be in charge of that. So right. I'll work that out with Tracy. Can we just tell Karina how, how many people want paper copies, how many people want, want it on a computer and just do it that way? No, set well, it up. let's let's you can set it up as a group for the for the budget committee and all, all the stuff you want to send out, you send out, and all the stuff you want our copies, just make copies. I'll do whatever you guys ask me to do. I'm and we sure. got away from that a number of years ago. And so it's it's the, go back. the commit the, the, the budget committee has this setup so that we take care of our stuff. And so that's what we'll do. We'll take care of it. Yeah. And, you know, I don't want to impose and I don't want the town to. To have to do it. that was our decision a number of years ago, and so that's what I mean. I don't want to head back in in that direction because Tracy was making copies, and you didn't do anything wrong, but she doesn't have the understanding of okay, we're going to make these each time we have a meeting. So we'll talk that out. It changes all the time, right? So okay. Second. Second, Tammy, further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of the uh, motion to adjourn? Raise your right hand, say aye. 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 All those? <laughs> Stay well. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Brian. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Welcome aboard.